Hello, and welcome to The Scoreboard. I'm your host, Brett Ferraro, and we have a great show for you today. The Eagle Valley Devils hosted a huge wrestling tournament on Saturday. We speak to the head coach of the Eagle Valley squad about what it's like to host such a large tournament, as well as a captain of the Battle Mountain squad to see how he felt about the competition. Then we speak to Sarah Will, a Paralympic skier that lives here in the Valley, talking all about her previous career and what she is up to now. But first, the Vail Nordic Center hosted their Moonlight Race uh, on Friday. We were able to speak with the winner of that race, so let's take a listen to what he has to say. Hello everyone, we are here at the Vail Nordic Center where they just completed their Moonlight Race tonight on January 6th. I'm with the winner of the boys. Uh, do you mind introducing yourself to sure. the audience for us? Uh, my name is Kyle Ross. Um, I'm a senior at Battle Mountain. I've been doing this for six years now. That's super exciting. So, been doing this for a long time. Were you uh, skiing in middle school? I was. It was not competitive, though. It was only HPS Nordic, so no races or anything. It was more of a fun club. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, a lot of Nordic skiers, especially for your home school at Battle Mountain, uh, were cross-country skiers in the fall. Was that the case for you as well? Uh, yes, I did run cross-country. Um, it was a great time. I had a great season. And, yeah. That's super cool. Doing it for six years. Would you consider yourself a high-level endurance sport athlete? Uh, I would a little bit. Um, there's definitely some kids out there that are a lot better, um, but I'm hoping to make a good season for myself this year, and what a great way to open it. For sure. What a great opening race, winning it all together. What do you think was your strongest part of the race tonight? Um, I definitely think the hills. That's where I passed a couple people. Um, it was a very competitive start, a lot of people at the start, and getting out in the front was a wise idea. No, it was a wild mass start. Skate mass starts are always sort of crazy. <laughs> so that's, that. it was definitely a fun race tonight under the uh, darkness, <laughs> maybe some moon if there wasn't so many clouds. Um, it was a skate race tonight, very exciting. Do you prefer a skate over classic? I do, it's a lot easier. <laughs> I always prefer it as well. It's also a lot faster, I find, so the races get finished quite a bit quicker. But what do you think you did over the past six years that has prepared you for this moment to win this race? Um, I definitely think that, you know, last year I had a good season because lost a bunch of weight, um, which helps a lot. And then this last summer I trained with Josiah Mitta, and that helped a ton too, and now here I am. So, <laughs> Is there anyone in particular you want to thank for your win tonight? Um, I'd like to thank Josiah and Coach Apps, too. And also, um, I'd like to thank everyone else out there, too. First race of the season, very good start. Uh, what uh, is the next race you're most looking forward to? Um, probably Steamboat, because it's not a classic race this year. It's skate, so okay. it'll be a great skate course. Oh, for sure. A great showing tonight. We had multiple schools, VMS, Eagle Valley came, uh, CRMS was here, but Battle Mountain High School took the win for the boys tonight. Thank you so much for uh, speaking with me tonight, Thank Kyle. you. Go Huskies. Go, Carl. Go, Carl.